Let's continue our discussion of filters and dive a little bit into the math behind how our filter actually behaves. And so we want to imagine our filter as this sort of black box where there is an incoming signal and an outgoing signals. And I'm going to use the phaser representation of these signals because these will be AC circuits. And much as before when we were talking about op amps, we had a gain function that would relate our input and output. And here within filters, we have something called the transfer function. And so what the transfer function does is it is a, an expression that relates the input and output frequencies or input and output signals of a particular circuit. And there are two major components of the transfer function. So if I expand my definitions of my input and output signals here, I'm going to have some magnitude on each. And then each one of them will also have its own phase. And so if I sort of simplify this a little bit, there is some sort of relationship describing how the input and output magnitudes are related, but then also a relationship describing how the input and output phases are related. And so in our transfer function, we are going to have a special pieces of this that deal with each of these components. And so this relationship right here is going to be our magnitude part of the transfer function. And then this part right here is going to be the phase piece of our transfer function. And sort of these two separate functions combined are going to give us our definition of the transfer function. And so what we need to understand the transfer function as is it's something that modifies the magnitude of a signal as it passes through and it modifies the phase of a signal as it passes through as well. Combining our definition of the transfer function with our relationship between the input and the output, we can start to get a better understanding of how this affects the output by expanding our definition here by saying that the output function is equal to our input function times the transfer function. And we come up with a relationship here. So this is just copying in the definitions of our transfer function and our input function. So overall, what you get out of a circuit is equal to your input signal times however the transfer function modifies the magnitude of the signal and however the transfer function modifies the phase of the signal. And it's going to be this effect on the magnitude of the signal that we use to classify different filters as either low pass or high pass based upon a given frequency what it does to our input signal.